If there's one thing Hamza did right, it's cultivating his fan base. People look up to him for his ideas, his principles, what he stands for, but one thing that I really respect is the group of guys he's brought together and formed a really good community with. I've only been watching Hamza's videos for maybe a month or two now, and I actually didn't find him through his main channel. I found him through his second channel, Hamza Unfiltered, which is what I'm trying to emulate here with these videos but putting my own perspective in place. So I don't usually comment on other people's videos, especially YouTubers that I watch. I kind of just watch it, leave a like if it was a good video, and then I move on with my day. But after uploading for about a month and a half now, I really just wanted to give my thanks and show some gratitude towards Hamza for encouraging me with his one video that he titled, why you should start your self-improvement channel and the response that I received on that comment was great. A bunch of new people checked out my channel, left some great comments. I'm really grateful that some of you guys decided to stick around and subscribe as we go through our self-improvement journey in the future. Now that my thanks and gratitude is out of the way, I guess I wanted to talk a little bit more about the title of today's video which is The Magic of Hamza's Cult. I think what's really special and unique about Hamza's community is the fact that there's just a bunch of people willing to come together and support each other, basically. It's really rare that you see that nowadays everybody's competing and it was really crazy to me that people stopped by my channel, even subscribed, and left some really insightful comments, not just on my last video, but even a couple videos back, people left really great comments that made me think a little bit and it's just interesting to think about that there are people around the world on this whole internet thing and we're able to all connect, come together, share our opinions, discuss things that are important to us. That's what's different about the self-improvement space and that's why seeing the response from his community towards me, helping me out, it's really something special and it reaffirms my desire to want to be a part of the self-improvement industry and the self-improvement niche where it's just a different kind of audience that watches these types of videos. Say I commented on like Mr. Beast videos. Sorry for, for bashing Mr. Beast all the time. If I commented on one of his videos, maybe I'd have the same influx and the amount of people that visited my channel, viewed and or subscribed, but it wouldn't be the same type of reaction. People wouldn't be leaving insightful comments and actually taking the message to heart. Mr. Beast's audience is mainly there for entertainment. You don't really watch a Mr. Beast video for any philosophical benefit or introspection. But with Hamza's content, if you're watching that type of content, you're somewhat invested in the idea of self-improvement. You have some level of introspection and self-reflection that I really value, especially in today's society where it's becoming very externally motivated and we kind of lose track of our character. That's all I had for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.